Well, hello, potential Zach Attack team members. I'm Zach, and I'm Andrea. Uh, we just wanted to take this time to introduce ourselves to you, especially uh, those of you who don't know us very well. A uh, little background on us. Uh, we've been married for how long, sweetheart? Five years. And we've been, uh, I've been learning a lot in that time. <laughs> um, but we would like to talk today specifically about uh, the journey that we've been on together for the past year, and that's the journey of battling the disease of cancer. Well, in May of 2011, uh, our lives were radically changed when I was diagnosed with a type of cancer called sarcoma, which is actually a collection of cancers that generally affect the muscle tissue and also can uh, affect the bone as well. Well, that was a pretty strange day for me uh, and for my wife. Um, but for me, it started with what I thought was going to be a routine visit to the doctor to find out um, the pathology reports from a small lump that I had removed from my left thigh. As I entered the doctor's office, he sat me down and told me that he had some bad news for me, and at that point proceeded to tell me that I had this disease, uh, this cancerous disease. Um, kind of at that moment, my mind split into three parts. Uh, my face was dealing with the doctor, and I was saying, you know, what's next, um, asking him what sorts of treatments I might undergo, and things like that. Um, in the back of my head, I was very concerned about what I was going to tell Andrea because I was supposed to have lunch with her uh, directly after the appointment. And so I was concerned um, with how was I going to tell this, this beautiful woman that our lives were forever changed. Um, and in the middle of my brain is where God showed up. And he told me something very true. He said, Zach, uh, because you believe in me, you're healed either way. Either I have the opportunity to miraculously heal you here on the earth, or you're going to be healed uh, in eternity with me. And that was very comforting at that time. And uh, since then, God has just been really faithful to us. And uh, we've gone through some treatments and surgeries. Um, but we've been battling this for uh, close to a year and a half. I knew he had an appointment and I asked him on the phone what the results were, you know, how everything went. And he said, we'll have to talk to you in person, which for Zach is kind of unusual. He usually they're pretty open about sharing things. So I was a little concerned, but neither of us really thought anything of the appointment or of what had been removed. So we were, I still wasn't prepared for anything along those lines. We met for our, at a restaurant and he told me as we were about to walk in the door, that, that the, the results of the pathology were that it was likely sarcoma. So a lot of questions were in my mind as why is it likely and does that necessarily mean that it's cancer and a lot of other questions that put us on a long journey and a lot of phone calls. I think my immediate reaction was oh well cancer my, my mom's had two different kinds of cancer and she's fine she got over all these things very quickly or not quickly but eventually um, so I didn't really think that it was necessarily that Zach was not Zach and I weren't going to go spend the rest of our lives together um, obviously it was pretty traumatic news and our immediate future is changing quite dramatically but I didn't really think that our lifetime together would be affected by it so we were then referred to an oncologist and an oncologist is a doctor who will prescribe chemotherapy <clears throat> We didn't really think that this was necessary since we've been told throughout most of the journey that we wouldn't need that kind of treatment. So when we met with him, he suggested we have part of Zach's lung removed for a biopsy to see if there was cancer there. The day of the surgery, they had preliminary results that it was not in his lungs. They had three nodules removed and the one that they looked at in the, um, after they took it out, they said that it was not cancerous. However, the other two nodules were. So, um, quite a shift of news in, about, in a couple of days that we weren't expecting. And what that means is the cancer had traveled from his leg where it originally had appeared up to his lungs. So it could be anywhere in his body and it's traveled throughout his, his, um, his systems. Once it had metastasized, spread to his lungs, that was essentially a death sentence. It put us the next couple of months through some chemotherapy treatments where um, Zach has spent a lot of time in the hospital. It took us through the end of 2011 and then I think actually this year has been 
a little more difficult for me as far as um, understanding our situation with God and as far as my heart and where that's been just because I've had more time um, to sit down and kind of think about things. We've been battling this disease uh, about a year and a half. We've gone from just figuring out what cancer is like uh, to hearing that I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. Um, but as we stand today, I am just over eight months um, in what's considered a stable condition, meaning that my cancer, the tumor that remains in my body, uh, have not grown, uh, nor have they changed. Which is a positive sign. We've uh, been incredibly blessed with the support of friends and family throughout, um, but as you can imagine, um, through a series of surgeries and um, quite lengthy stays in the hospital, um, there's a very practical aspect to our need. And that's part of what this video is about, um, telling you all how you can uh, engage with us and help us out in a practical manner. Um, as you can imagine, uh, our medical bills um, have mounted, um, as well as myself being out of work uh, for just about a year uh, because of all the treatments and, and things that I went through. So in order to meet uh, one of our needs uh, in terms of a practical, physical way to help us, um, our friends have gotten together and uh, really come up with a great idea and that's Team Zach Attack. And what Team Zach Attack is about is um, people wanting to transform uh, their hobby and passion for running into uh, a way that they can serve us in a financial means. We'd love for you to look up Team Zach Attack uh, on our Facebook page. Um, and also, if you're not a runner like myself, can't stand running, not good at it, um, but if you'd like to uh, help us, there are many ways. First of all, we ask for a prayer. Um, it's made a huge difference in our journey and it encourages us greatly. And we'd love to have you join us um, in prayer. Uh, other ways, you can make financial contributions. And we'd love to have anybody who's available come out and cheer on our runners. And if you are a runner, which I am apparently becoming as I sign up for this half marathon, um, you can transform your training experience into a fundraiser. So you can have people um, donate money for you for how many miles you look, you're going to end up running, or if you meet your time goal, or just generally to run whichever of the races you choose to train for. Yeah, one, two, three. Sorry, <laughs>